Hi guys, Boris here at the Ecology Design Studio and today we're talking about macros, in specific recording macros in order to automate certain tasks and functions that you perform on a routine basis in Microsoft Excel. Uh, right here on my desktop I have Open Bell Curves, a document that I'll make uh, available on our website, ecologydesigns.com, um, for you to download for free and play around. Um, with the settings and the options or maybe follow along uh, with this tutorial. So there are certain functions that I performed in this in this file that I do in a lot of other files and I have a macro that actually I just push one button and it does it automatically for me instead of me having to do it uh, line by line each time. For example the average the standard deviation, uh, the bin number generation, um, and even uh, the random numbers and the histogram uh, are all created automatically uh, or can all be created automatically with a macro. Now if you don't know a lot about writing visual basic code, don't worry, uh, this doesn't delve into the code at all. Uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the background. Um, background stuff and some of the code just to, to give you a feel for it and maybe later on we'll do a tutorial series on how to write Visual Basic code and how to how to work with that code to create your own macros. For now we're simply going to take some data and we're going to perform certain functions and create a macro so that each time you open a document that has data you press that button or once you put the data in the correct location and you press a button all the previous tasks that you recorded can be performed by Excel. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've deleted the rest of the document, the graphs, the charts, and the random numbers. And we're going to do a very simple uh, macro right now. I'm going to click in cell B1. And then I'm going on the ribbon, I'm going to click on View. At the very far end, Macros. And I'm going to click Record Macro. Now be very careful when you click this button. Um, you know, it's going to ask you for the macro name, the shortcut. I'm going to say Control D, and I'm going to click OK. Uh, tells me I'm already assigned to that key, so I'm going to press H. Okay, now at this moment, it's recording everything you click on and everything you do, uh, everything you type, all the keyboard movements. Um, it's tracking everything you're doing. So you have to kind of have it in your mind ahead of time what you're going to do and what you want to accomplish with this macro so you don't make any errors because that makes the code um, unnecessarily long. Uh, say for example you type in a character and then change your mind and you press backspace. Well it's recording that and then every time you run the macro it's going to waste time typing the character and erasing it. So right here I'm going to type in uh, average, press enter and I'm going to enter the formula for average and I'm going to select my data range from A2 to A19. I'll show you how you can extend that later. And now it's calculating the average and I want standard deviation. And I'm going to type in STDEV. Double click on that and select all my data again. Okay, and I want the mouse or the, the cell selected to return back to B1. At this point, towards the bottom of the screen right here where it says ready, there's a little square. If you hover over it, it's going to say a macro is currently recording. Click to stop recording. Go ahead and click that, and you're done. You're finished. So let's see if it worked. Um, select what we typed in, and... Move your cursor back to cell B1 and press um, whatever shortcut key you decided to make. I decided to be Control H. And bam, there it is. Average and standard deviation automatically calculated. Um, that way you don't have to type in the titles or the formulas anymore. Uh, and let me show you really quick the background of what's going on. Click on Macros, View Macros. Um, macro 2 is the one I made. It's probably going to be macro 1 for you unless you have other macros. Um, click on edit and here it is. Um, this is for my first macro. This is for my second one. This is um, I experimented before with making errors and um, 
So for example, I typed in uh, AVE instead of average and then backspaced. Uh, I wanted to see what the code looked like when you make an error and it records everything you do. So here I have control H, um, active cell formula, I uh, type in the, the text string average, uh, range B2, um, the, the cell underneath the, the title, I select that uh, and I type in average and then the formula range b3 i select that type in standard deviation uh, and so on well what you can do when you're recording the macro or after you're recording the macro is you can change um, the range that you're working with uh, to include a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand cells depending on, on how often you work with large data sets that way um, it's not going to take the first because this is literally going to take the first let me close this out this is literally going to take the first um, 19 cells or from cell 2 to cell 19 and then just run that see so if you have any more than that um, it's not going to consider them. Um, so if you want to include blank values for for this tutorial that's perfectly fine or for for um, the macro you're recording um, it doesn't care about what the values in in the cells are per se it just cares uh, what range you're selecting in so that's going to be helpful if you're like i said if you're working with large data sets all right so I'm going to go through one more very easy macro to record that's uh, that's very useful for pretty much all types of uh, projects that you will be working on. Um, select cells A through B just like this at the top and then squish them together until they're very small like this. Even smaller. Okay, perfect. Well, it's horrible and you're, and you're probably asking, you know, why, why this? Um, uh, I can't see anything it's horrible well we're gonna make a macro that every time you execute it it's going to enlarge um, all the cells to their respective um, widths to the width that they should be so it's going to take these three cells and it's gonna double click at the end uh, there's nothing at cell 3 so or in cell C so I guess just take cell B and A and squish them together not too far like that okay so again click somewhere and then macro record macro this is gonna be my third one I'm gonna have this as control G why not click OK highlight cells A and B double click on the edge click back into cell A1 and at the bottom click on the stop record button now let's let's squish them again and see if it, see if uh, the macro works. So, I believe it was Control G for me. There it is. It I click Control G and it expanded my columns out. So, what I would do is I would take you know several columns, squish squish them together a little bit, and then record a macro that expands those cells out to the length that need to be. That way, each, each time you open an Excel document and you have um, cells that are squished together, just press Control, whatever key you choose, and it does it automatically for you. Well, folks, this brings us to the end of today's video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let us know. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, a written, a detailed written version of this tutorial should be available soon on our website so feel free to check that out and I'll make the document available later on tonight if you want to play around with the bell curves document there's several different worksheets here uh, for bell curves and working with random numbers histograms um, frequency distributions and bin numbers formulas um, a lot of stuff to to keep you busy and um, play around uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production.